This video is brought to you by the Astro Galaxy Game Room Project and Course, a tutorial series filled with hours of content and professionally developed 3D models, textures, and 2D sprites. In this course, we will not only take you step by step through things such as creating game systems and mechanics, but also how to use and master lighting and rendering in Unity's various render pipelines. To instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more, click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today. When lighting scenes in Unity, we have the option of setting our lights to real-time, baked, or mixed. Lights can be set to one of the three options on a per-light basis. So essentially, we can have a scene where some of our lighting data will be baked, some will be red in real-time, and some will use both baked and real-time lighting data. Like its name implies, real-time lighting is lighting that isn't calculated until runtime. This also means it isn't taken into account when baking the light or reflection maps for your scene. Therefore, since our lighting data can't be pre-calculated and stored, the inclusion of real-time lights comes at a performance cost. This is something to keep in mind, especially when creating games for lower-end devices such as tablets and phones that don't contain an isolated GPU. Baked lights are lights that are pre-calculated with the lighting data stored in a texture inside your game. The lighting texture is then overlaid with the textures and materials of the assets found in your game. Compared to real-time lights, baked lights are far more performance friendly, since much of the data is already calculated and doesn't have to be computed during runtime. So for lower-end platforms, exclusively using baked lights would be far more performance friendly than relying on real-time lights to provide the lighting for your scene. By turning off auto-generate and clicking the generate lighting button, once our light maps are generated, Unity will create a new folder with the same name of our scene that will house both our lighting and reflection maps and data. Mixed lighting is lighting that relies on a combination of both real-time and baked lighting. Much like real-time lighting, using this option may come at the cost of your game's performance. In Unity, we have four main light types, with each having various settings and attributes. First, we have directional lights. Directional lights emit even and consistent lighting across the entire scene. These lights are often used to simulate sunlight or a light source that could exist from any distance away. All objects in the scene are illuminated equally as the light from a directional light does not diminish. For this reason, directional lights aren't affected by their position in the scene, but rather its rotation. Next, we have point lights. Point lights are location specific and emit light in all directions from the center equally. They're useful for simulating lamps, light bulbs, and other local sources of light. Additionally, since unlike directional lights, a point light has a consecutive linear falloff, this light isn't affected by rotation, but rather by its position, range, and scale. Next, we have spotlights. The spotlights gradually falls off as it emits light on an area over a range and angle. Unlike a point light, which emits light in every direction, spotlights are constrained to a given angle. These types of lights are normally used for artificial light sources such as flashlights, construction lights, and searchlights. Spotlights are affected by the position, rotation, and scale of their transform.
Finally, we have area lights. Area lights are lights that are defined by their rectangular or disc shape. Similar to a spotlight, area lights emit light in a forward direction with a uniform linear falloff derived from its range value. This type of light doesn't have any manual controls, but the light diminishes as it travels away from the source. The way it diminishes is processor intensive. Therefore, area lights must be backed into light maps and are unavailable to be altered at runtime. Within each light, the main and most commonly used setting in our light components are type, which shows the current type of light being used. Range, which is available for all lights except directional lights. Range determines how far the light emitted from the center of the object travels and at what point the falloff ends. Color, which adjusts the color our light appears, as well as the color of the light rays it casts into our scene. Mode. This allows you to specify the light mode to determine if or how a light is baked. The possible modes are real-time, mix, and baked. Real-time is used for lights that need to change their properties during runtime. Mixed is used for lights that can change their transform and visual properties during runtime, but with strong limitations. Baked is used to create local ambience and doesn't need to change during runtime. Intensity is multiplied by the light color and is the value that sets the brightness of the light. Intensity Multiplier controls the amount of ambient light being cast into our scene from that individual light. A value lower than 1 causes the light to get dimmer with every bounce. Higher than 1 makes the light brighter with each bounce. Keeping it at 1 means the light remains the same with every bounce. Shadow type allows us to specify whether we want our light to cast hard, soft, or no shadows, in which we can specify the shadow strength, shadow resolution, and shadow baking angle. Something to note, for real-time light, shadows, soft shadows in particular, come at a fairly large performance cost. So before setting up the lighting for your game or scene, it's important to first know what platform or platforms you're targeting your game for. Render Mode. This setting specifies the rendering priority of the selected light. The settings available are Auto, Important, and Not Important. Auto is used to have the method determined at runtime. Important always renders the light at per pixel quality. Use this for the most noticeable lights. Not Important is used to set lights to render at the faster method of Vertex Object Light Mode. Calling Mask. The Calling Mask setting allows us to selectively exclude groups of objects from being affected by the light. An extremely important and often overlooked property pertaining to lighting in Unity are probes. Unity has two types of probes, light probes and reflection probes. 
light probes act as a grid of points with each sampling the lights from different positions in your scene. Then cast that lighting information on dynamic or non-static assets in your scene. Light probes come at a low performance cost and should be used despite which platform your game is targeted for. Reflection probes are a single point of reference. That is, information is used by materials and elements that have reflective, metallic, or specular values. Reflection probes are encased in a volume that specifies what elements you want to include in the reflection. Reflection probes sample elements within its volume using box projection and store the images and information in a cube map. Material with reflective properties that are within the reflective probe's volume will then reference that information and then include it in its reflective properties or highlights. Lastly, in addition to lights, probes, and the skybox, we can also use emissive surfaces to light or contribute lighting information to our scenes. Emissive surfaces allow us to contribute lighting information to our scene based on the colors and values derived from our textures and materials. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, interviews, and free game asset giveaways. To instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more, click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today.